Hello, and welcome to GameSpot Live! We are here for a Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launch day live stream brought to you by Nintendo Switch. I'm Chastity, and with me today is my good friend Ben Jenka, our resident expert in all things Hyrule Warriors. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? And it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. So, it's Yeah, it's a great day. Thanks for joining me for a live stream today on your birthday. Everyone yeah. wish him a happy birthday. We're on all the chats right now. And we're going to jump into the game because this game is out today on Nintendo Switch. You can play with a friend. You can play solo. We're going to play solo today and give you a good look of all the things that are new and HD, HD yeah. this time. It's, what, how it's you feeling? You've been pretty. playing a lot of this game. Yeah, I, uh, I've been, I've, I've deep dived into this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically all I've been playing since I, I, I actually got it. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. And it includes every map, character, and mission from both the dub, the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS versions, including all of the original DLC. Yeah, yeah. So that's a pretty good deal if you haven't played this yet. So you might as well today. Today is the day you can. So what are we showing them first, Ben? Uh, so I think a really good thing to jump into, we'll just do a free mode, but I want to show off mm -hmm. the Forsaken Fortress level from, uh, from was it Wind Waker? Wind Waker, that's right. It's the Wind right. Waker stage, mm -hmm. and it was previously only on the 3DS, mm -hmm. which yeah, 3DS is, is a wonderful piece of hardware, but it wasn't HD. And now it's in HD. And now it's HD, and that's it's right. very pretty. Yeah, so when you play it in TV mode, it's in 1080, so mm -hmm. that's... This is pretty wonderful. Oh, look. We got we got some cool clothes, but we're going to wear out. this yeah. Breath of the Wild tunic. Look, this is new. So Link has his Breath of the Wild tunic. All, Zelda also has Breath of the yeah, Wild gear, right? Let's check, check that, that out, out real quick. She's got her, her outfit from look Breath of the Wild as well. Very Looking nice. real spiffy. I'm into it. Very spiffy. Cool. Uh, but I think for I'm going to bring Link along because he's he's my highest leveled character, mm -hmm. and we're going to wear that, that tunic. And then... Who are we teaming up with? Oh, you know I got to oh, go I, with my, my boy I Tingle. Cause, I, I knew it would be Tingle. Uh... <laughs> If you want the most on-brand move for me to do on a stream in a Hyrule Warriors situation, it's going to be picking Tingle. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited to see some Tingle gameplay. He... I haven't unlocked Tingle yet, so I'm excited to see you play oh, we as got Tingle. These, uh, these fairies, too. Check out these fairies. So this, is, this was on the 3DS, but this is now on the Switch version as well. And you can dress them up you can feed them what kind of things can you do with your fairy you're pretty much like raising it right yeah so you you find food for it out in the field and you mm -hmm. feed it and it levels it up it gets different skills so like this one which is really great for me uh whenever i lose all my hearts i get brought back to life mm -hmm. which is very nice and yeah. then i've got this opposite one where it starts me off with like one fourth of my hearts but i do like eight times more damage or something mm -hmm. so there's kind of a, a good polar opposite thing going on with the two that i found so far but Very uh, nice. I'm going to play it safe. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to be playing this until 1 p.m. Pacific time. So let's jump right in. So we're going to go into uh, that stage that you selected, which is Forsaken Fortress. Yeah, yeah. So it's loading up. So how far into this game is Forsaken Fortress? It's pretty far, right? It's pretty far. This mm -hmm. is, uh, it's after the main story. It's after you do the, the additional storylines for Linkle and Sia. Mm -hmm. uh, then it opens up into this alternate kind of oh there we go we get the jams bring going up the jams bring uh, up the jams there's there's <laughs> more crossovers that happen more uh more zelda games crossover into other zelda games which is is pretty rad very nice so there goes link in his breath of the wild gear so for people who haven't played this can you talk a little bit about what the game is like uh so it's it's a, it's an action game for sure, but it's it's basically like a Dynasty Warriors or a Musou game, mm -hmm. where it's one really strong character going up against just just thousands of, of things at once. So you're you're yes. you're gonna end basically every match with thousands of kills mm -hmm. or knockouts. And as you guys can see, there's a map in the top right. This is really important for gameplay. You can see which areas need help which areas uh, your team has taken over. So the, your team is in blue, the enemies are in red, and then there are some thick red barriers in certain areas that you can't get through quite yet. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? So you're unlocking so I was gonna say, a weapon, uh, right? Yeah, this is one of the uh, kind of light puzzle things that they throw in to kind of keep it really Zelda is you would go and capture the bomb shop so you can get access to the hammer that would normally be inside of that chest. Mm -hmm. Then you can use the hammer now to knock knock over the switches that you can use to take out this wall or open up doors. So I'm going to go and use the hammer yes. on this switch. 
that will then cause this boat over here to blow away the, the block so we can carry on. Awesome. But yeah. Look at that. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, there's a lot of puzzles in here and you have to find things to get through certain areas. Nice. Yeah. So it's really cool because it's, it's got like the, the Musou stuff, but it also maintains a lot of the, the cool Zelda elements mm -hmm. with the sort of like puzzle solving. Also, it's got such great music. <laughs> uh, it really does. I'm, I'm really into all the, the cool remixes that they do for a lot of the, the Zelda songs that you know. Green Choo Choo. I saw that. And yes, we are in chat on Twitch and YouTube. The 905 guy said, are you guys answering questions? Yes, we will be. So please shoot, uh, shoot your questions and I will ask them to Ben for you because he's been playing a lot of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition this week. It's true. Yeah. So he can most likely answer those questions for you. You haven't quite finished the entire game yet, but you're pretty far, so right? I finished the main legend mode all the way through with all the, the paths and I've broken into adventure mode a little bit. Yeah. But uh, Adventure Mode is where you actually uh, go through to unlock a lot of the DLC stuff, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. All right. So let me tell you a little bit more about this game. So like I said, it includes every map, character, and mission from both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions, including all the original DLC. Plus there are some updates exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version. So they have a newly added Breath of the Wild outfits, as you see here, for Link and Zelda. We have, and then all of the Breath of the Wild amiibo are compatible with this game, and we'll be showing you that a little bit later. Yeah. And then we showed you the My Fairy mode from the 3DS version, now has 3D rendered graphics. And there's two Wind Waker stages that are available. This is one of them. And then they have HD graphics for the first time. And also, you can play two-player co-op mode by sharing a set of Joy-Con controllers. So you can hook this up in the dock, play it on your TV with a friend, just hand one Joy-Con to them, and you guys can take on all of these bad guys together. Yeah, it was, uh, I was actually kind of really into how the co-op works. I got a chance to try it a little bit with... Uh with Michael Hyam mm -hmm. while we were, we were capturing for the review. Nice. It worked out really well. Yeah. Uh, first time that they did split screen. And cool. I'm, I'm way into it. So do you? Do, does each of you take one person on the team that you select at mm -hmm. the beginning? That's yeah. very nice. So, so, like you, one of, so in this si situation, one of you would be Link, one of you would be Tingle. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Crime said, hey, happy birthday, Ben. Thank happy you. Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really happy to, <laughs> to be here. It's it, This is kind of well, like the best birthday scenario. This is pretty great. This is pretty fun. <laughs> So yeah, this game is new in HD. It's 1080p when docked for TV mode. Handheld is 720p, for those wondering. And it's out today. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, t Tingle, Tingle. kind of just goes <laughs> off. He's... Oh my god, Tingle's so great. He's doing doing his own thing. He's living his best life. Uh, <laughs> and I love him so much for it. Wow. Oh man. This is great. I, I haven't gotten to play with Tingle yet because I'm pretty early on in the game. Look at that. What is he doing? Uh, he's he's <laughs> really into using balloons and bombs. Uh, there's a there's a fairy <laughs> d distracting him. It's it's wild. That is wild. The monsters beat our allies in the eastern path. We must protect the town. Thanks, Tetra. She's she's on top of yeah. it for us. Morgan Linky said, "Looks fun. Oh. It is pretty fun." Yeah, I like. I'm a I'm a big fan of Musou games, yeah. and this it's a really really good mashup. Uh, I actually oh, I've. Cannon. I played the Wii U version, and I also played the 3DS version. So you've played all of the versions, yeah. so and now you're playing the Switch version. I've got a pretty pretty good benchmark on, on what's what's changed. So you've got uh -oh. this game oh. unlocked, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bob Jones said, why are you playing as Tingle? Why wouldn't why you play as Tingle you? <laughs> is my question that I propose to you. Look at the way he you. runs. Look at the way he's he just, runs. He's doing his thing, you know? It's great. Man. Uh, I should try running like that. <laughs> I, it scientifically proven to make you run faster. And uh, yeah, that's science. It's like a little, a little like this. That feels good. Yeah. That feels pretty good. I get why he does it. What's his deal with balloons? Uh, in the <laughs> game, it's kind of like how he he gets around because he he'll just like pop up and. Into it. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's all over the place. <laughs> I'm switch back to Link now because we we've taken <laughs> keep it to take. Bring it back in, rein it in a bit here. Nice. Oh, and this is uh, the thing that kind of happens in the stage a lot is you get uh, our good old bird pal showing up hey. from Wind Waker as well. Very and they're, cool. They're kind of like the antagonist through most of this uh, this part of the story leading up to 
uh, a fight with one of the versions of Ganon. Oh, nice. Wow. But they, they pop up uh, multiple times. Helmarok King. Yeah. How long does this usually take you? I know you've done this a couple times. So you actually don't even fight him here. You just chase oh. him away. Oh, cool. Uh, which is kind of nice. Very uh, cool. So I'm going to go up this way. We're going to take this top area, and then we're going to converge back in the middle. Sweet. Uh, one of the cool things, though, is I can kind of prepare for this. Oh, yeah. And can you send Tingle somewhere? Can, can we yeah. show them a little of that? So you can direct him to go somewhere by commanding say, him. Yeah. I, I lost this central keep, yeah. and it'd be good to kind of get him like back over that mm -hmm. way. So while I have Link going up to the top, mm -hmm. I can have him swoop back down, and then I can switch to him and take that place over. Very it. useful. So by doing, yeah, by going into the menu and clicking command, you can command your other character to go to a different area of your choice. Pretty cool. Yeah. Very useful. Oh, Nintendo says, hi, all. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> um, I think there was a question from Groove, and he said, "What, Ben, what appeals to you about Musou games? So I like that it's it's kind of like a therapeutic experience mm -hmm. where I agree. You, don't, you don't necessarily have to be, like, on the whole time, but you just kind of get to relax and, like, listen to some really cool music yeah. and just kind of... The music's Go fantastic. A bunch of bunch of bad guys. Yeah, I'm gonna piggyback off that and say the same thing. It's it's very therapeutic, especially after a long day of work. Yeah, yeah. Just like laying back with the Nintendo Switch wherever I want and just hacking and slashing I was gonna enemies. Say, having a Musou game good. on my Switch <laughs> yes. is it's changed the game. It really has changed the game because I can literally just lie in bed after work <laughs> and play this, and it's fantastic. <laughs> it's so fun. Hoop said, ah, good point. Like a zone out game. I get yeah. that. Yep, exactly. It's a really good zone out game, which is ironic because like you're there's so much going on, but that's what it is for me. Dang, there's a lot of those barriers, huh? Yes, I think I've, that's the last barrier. I've nice heard? job. But you did it. You did it. We'll we'll be we'll be good here in a second. Yep. So Ben is playing in single player, and we'll be playing in single player through this. But as we mentioned before, you can also play in co op. And for the first time, they have split-screen co-op for the game. And Ben was mentioning that he tried that out the other day with Michael Hyam, and that was pretty good. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was into it. It was a really good time. Yeah. So I think it might have been the first time Michael had played it. He's, he's Did you like it? Seemed, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nintendo Ico said, yes, I agree. The Switch is so easy to play with. Yes. God. The Switch really changed the game for me. I just want <laughs> everything on my Switch. I know. <laughs> me too. Uh, and there's a bunch of characters you can select from, so uh, we're showing Link and Tingle right now, but we're going to show you some more later, so stay tuned for that. And also, keep watching because we're going to show you what happens when you use Amiibo with this game, because you can do that too. Some, some cool unlocks. Including those Breath of the Wild Amiibo, which totally worked with this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, his laugh. He's Confetti! Look, yeah, that was for your birthday. It's a par That's the whole it's thing. It was party. all planned. That's why we picked Tingle because we're celebrating. We're yes. celebrating Ben. <laughs> Very nice. So you can target the enemies. So as you can see, there's a red arrow over the keep boss. So we're targeting the enemy. And you're just hitting the top bumper for that, right? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a Z target, but not a Z target. Uh, which is a real good feel. Mm -hmm. He's running, and there's like confetti coming out. He's, he's, this is so festive. He's really good. <laughs> I just I want to let everyone like just know that Tingle Tingle's in this game, and that's almost like a, a selling point in itself. Mm -hmm. So I, I think you could use like the Tingle tuner at one point, mm -hmm. and that was like the only way you could really do a thing with him. But now you get to like <laughs> you get to do all of this. Yeah. Which is fantastic. <laughs> Pretty great. So, can we show something with the fairy? What do you do with the fairy? Oh, uh, I should be able to do it here in a okay, second cool. with uh, with Link after I take this. Yeah, I'm pretty curious over. about that because I have not unlocked a fairy yet, but I'm pretty early in. Yeah. Level up, nicely done. Uh, Worgen Linky said, "How much is the fight combo based?" Uh, so it's it's kind of classic Musou style. So mm -hmm. you've got. Uh, like regular combos off of just kind of going through uh, your main attack button. Mm -hmm. And then you branch off depending on how many hits you do. So like you'll do this if you just do one hit. 
and it just leads into this giant combo where you're in the air Ooh, and I like you kinda, that. like flail your arms a bit or you can do one of, one of these and you roll out. Dang, look at that. It's there's a, a pretty good variety. You can actually level up your characters mm -hmm. and expand your combo base, which is also fantastic. That's very cool. So you're you're constantly evolving the character you're playing as. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So we're also going to show in this level some fairy stuff and also the ocarina. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. I've, I've used it a couple ocarina? of times already. Yes. Mm. So uh, there's the ocarina. Because I actually need to go and go back to the main base mm -hmm. right now. So we're about to take it over. So you can use it to teleport around the field as long as you've touched on the... Uh, these statues right here. Mm -hmm. the, the poor Gabor statues, mm -hmm. I think, is, is what they are. Missed that guy. Nice. Yeah, so with the Ocarina, you can teleport to other owl statues in the map. So Ocarina was also in the 3DS version. It's here now. You look at the owl icons on your map, and you can transport to a location using that Ocarina. So that's what's up with that. That's very cool. Very useful. Yeah. So you basically go up to the owl statues, and you activate them to use it. It saved me a lot of running, and that I'd literally just have to run all the, like, from one point of the map to the other uh, without it. Nice. So I'm, I'm way into that. Mm -hmm. 905 guy said, does this game have motion controls? Not that I've found. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's it's completely just regular button presses, which I'm, I'm Feels also good down to play. with. Yeah. 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 Ballooning. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's just a, a silly guy. He's a balloon boy. Alright, so we've, we've got the main base kind of under control for now. Sweet. We'll go back over and take this. And then we'll do a fairy thing in a bit. Oh, I just, I just did oh, one. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. that was cool. Uh, that's how we, we took back the that base. That was so fast. So you, you call them out and they basically just wipe out everything around you. That's so awesome. Which is, it's an alternate way to spend your magic. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm kind of I'm kind of done with it. It's, it's really strong, too. Which nice. is uh, very beneficial. Very cool. So we missed out on the gold sculpture, but we'll try it for the next level that we yeah. play, the next stage we play. But with the gold sculpture, you can get a piece of a puzzle, and then what happens there? What's the puzzle lead to? So you, you collect these these pieces of art mm -hmm. basically through getting the different ones that pop up in the different quadrants, mm -hmm. and uh, the more you collect, it increases the potency of the potions that you can bring into battle. Nice, so that's awesome. You've got these healing potions. If you're if you're feeling down and you've got some damage mm -hmm. going on, you can just kind of repair yourself, and you can recover more hearts by, by getting more of them. Nice. Tony Kaname Karen said, Hi Warriors, Definitive Edition is still on my most wanted Switch list, including Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, Blaze Blue, yep, and more. Totally. Uh, we've, been, we've been doing a lot of a lot of those, uh, yeah. the, the cross-tag trial mm -hmm. a lot here uh, at work as well. Yeah, you have. We've got to work together. Come on, cooperation is key. Tetra's Tetra's a good, uh, a good a character guide. as well. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really glad you can play as them too. Maybe, maybe we'll pull them out later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, We've hello. got plenty of time. Mission start. Just uh, teleport on over to this uh, this boss fight that's about to go Using down. Using that ocarina, get around. There we go. Nice. Oh wow! So you get to fight. <laughs> Look at uh, him. I recognize this guy from Woo! Ocarina of the Time. Uh, he's a. I was hoping to never run into you again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. This is pretty cool. Get out of here with that! <laughs> wow. Nice. Can you do a fairy thing on him? Uh, not yet. I have not to get yet. my my magic meter back up. Cool. There we go. So each each boss type has its own mm -hmm. weakness. So you've got to you've got to shoot Goma in its eye with yeah. your arrows, and he'll, he'll get weak. You can jump back on him and, and do all sorts of cool combos. Very cool. But yeah. Marco, where are you? Hey, Marco. Said, hey, do, Marco. Do I need to play previous Dynasty Warrior games to get used to the combat in this game? No. no. Uh, it's this it's is, very accessible. This is super accessible. Um, I did not play those, and I started playing this, and it was pretty easy to pick up, honestly. Yeah, if, if you haven't tried a, a Muso game or a Dynasty Warriors type game, I uh, highly recommend it. This is a great a great one to actually get into for the first time. I agree. Especially if you love Zelda. Yeah, and if you haven't played Hyrule Warriors yet, this is the version to play because it has all of the previous versions of the DLC included. Marco said, happy birthday, Ben. Aww. Thank you, Marco. <laughs> so nice. 
And if you're just tuning in, we are playing Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch, sponsored by Nintendo Switch, having a great time, running around as Link. Look at him in his great Breath of the Wild gear. And we're here till 1 p.m. Pacific time. Just hanging out, having fun, fighting birds. Yeah. Nice. The combos feel good. Yeah, they, they have a really good yeah. feel to them. Good variation, too. Mr. Yeah. Dreadful said, that's the boulder from Link to the Pass. Ah, yes, the <laughs> memorable boulder, boulder from Link to the Pass. <laughs> My it. favorite. Mm -hmm. So as we mentioned before, uh, the fairies in here are not just support characters. You can raise them as your own, find items for them. You can feed them and level them up, and they each have different elemental skills. You can find them hoods and clothing, customize them, and teach them different skills. So that's a really cool thing you can do with the fairies in this game. Yeah, we can, we can mess with some of the customization after we, we get out of Definitely. this. Definitely, after we finish the Forsaken Fortress. All right, I'm going to head up on over this way. Nice. And we're going to go take it to the, uh, the boss. Take it to the boss. Which you can see, that's the blinking marker, right? Mm -hmm. Up in the top left of the mini-map, if you're looking. And Link is the green arrow, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And we've got Tingle kind move. of hanging out over there in the middle. Actually, let's tell yeah. Tingle to, to meet us there. So yes, you can command your other character to meet you somewhere, as he's demonstrating right now. Very useful. Tell him exactly what to target to, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then we can all all meet up on on the dude and just have a good old time saving the day. Yeah. I'm going to walk into this mm -hmm. place that is a dead end and then realize it's not where I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Worgen Linky said, how is the co-op with two Joy-Cons? Does fighting change much or has a lot of the differences with single player gaming? So you have access to everything that you would when you're playing solo. Mm -hmm. uh, the button stuff is obviously different because you have less buttons to, to handle. Uh... But it's, it's all entirely there and entirely doable. I was actually kind of mm -hmm. surprised at how well it worked out. Because uh, you've, you've got to have, have a way to still kind of like mess with your items and, and do all that because you have to still solve the puzzles while you're playing through the levels. And it's all there. Nice. So is there a magic pot in here? Yeah, there is. Ooh, get it. So we can call magic. out our, our fairy again, which will clear out all of this stuff yes, around us. Yes, check it out. Fairy time. Oh, she's so cute. Wow. It's powerful. Really nice. Yeah. Good stuff. So everything's all cleared out now, and we can focus on the bigger guys, mm -hmm. which is always uh, a good way to Getting all those time. rupees, too. Yeah. Carlos Molina said, the soldiers, do they do anything? The uh, the ones that are on my side yeah. just kind of hang out? Mm -hmm. So they can take heaps and stuff, but mm -hmm. they're they're kind of just there to kind of manage things. They, they don't do too much. They don't want to steal too much of the glory from you, which is nice, mm -hmm. but... And so we've we've saved the Forsaken Fortress. Tingle and Link. Tingle and Link, doing it. Number one, 18, killing it all day, every day. <laughs> Look at him just dancing The there. best of friends. Oh, man. He's having a good time. I'm going to do a little bit of him to Tingle dance. God. And he moves his... He, I like how his, his butt's really his, a big part of the, his the dance. Whole, it's a whole body dance. It's, it's an entire body dance. You could be Link and I'll be Tingle. Just kind of post it up. Yeah. Th that's us. I like it. All right, cool. Uh, aside from Tingle, who is your favorite character to play? That's a question from Rockman Bionics. So, I really, really like what they did with uh, Ganondorf mm -hmm. in this one. And he's he's big and he's, he looks like he's really strong. They have, he's got these huge gauntlets. and I really like his design. So, he's one of my favorite ones to, to play as. And you just feel like you're really powerful while you're, you're going around. You know what? Mm -hmm. Let's not skip this. No, don't this skip it. Go. This is a beautiful cutscene. Let the people watch. Uh... Yeah, so you get like story cutscenes either mm -hmm. through c CGI stuff or you get these kind of cool wall scroll deals. Loving this art. Uh, yeah, it's very cute. Very cute. Tree, Thank you, Carlos. Bird Aww, Carlos said, happy birthday. Squinting to get a better view. <laughs> Goop said, sweet the moves, the keep going. Only when Tingle's on screen. <laughs> I can do the Tingle dance. <laughs> Not something. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Tetra? We've got to save Tetra. Had to do something, or she would be lost forever. Not forever. forever. <laughs> not if Link has not anything to do with it. Not on our watch. I'll tell you that much. Or Ben's rather, because he's playing. I'm just here to, for support. <laughs> so it's all good. All right. Wow. Look at that. 
Cool. So next up, let's show them. Do you want to show them fairy stuff or do you want to show them some characters? Let's let's go into, into fairy mode and we can hit up the, the mm -hmm. characters while we're, we're going to the next level. <laughs> That'll be a good way to do it. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's go into fairy mode. So they've, they've My got the, fairy. Uh, the really cool fairy mode, mm -hmm. which also has a, a certified jam playing in the background while you're you're doing it. Uh, Turn it up because it... Oh, yeah. Listen to that. So good. Listen to that. Uh, so tell us about my fairy mode. What so, can you do? Uh, the most important thing is you can you can dress them up, and each That's so cool. uh, bit of the clothes has Ooh, like oh. different effects. So you can actually like increase <gasps> like fire damage one. by wearing this. I like that one. You want to go with it? The red one. Yeah. I'm into it. All right, so that <laughs> that'll that'll increase our fire damage. We can also get the uh, the, oh. the bottom part of it matched Matching. up. Matching. Or you can you can oh, mix casual. it up. Oh, casual business yeah. cash. Get your, your business it. casual fairy going yeah. on. Yeah, business casual fairy. I like business casual fairy. Like that's that's too fancy for us. Like we're pretty casual folks. So yeah, yeah. let's let's get business casual fairy you're, you're here. Is it, is it these uh, these pirate slacks you're, you're thinking? Yeah. Or? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do that. And change your. Uh, I almost only have the one face paint. Unfortunately, that's fine. But it, that's, it looks good. Yeah. And we've got these these cool hats you can put on. Oh, get nice the hood or a mask. Oh wow, the mask is cute. Oh, the hat the, the hat's adorable. Yeah. Let's do the hat. I feel like that that keeps everything together, so we're gonna we're gonna do that one. Mm -hmm. And then you've also got earrings or accessories. So we've got this cool little little uh, bandana. Nice. Or, Accessorizing. Or yeah. Oh, oh, let's put the earrings on. Like right. her ears are very accentuated, so we should dress them up. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so we've got our... Yeah, customization is the best. They approve. They're into it. Absolutely gorgeous. See, she's into the business cash look. Uh, so I don't have much food. Uh, oh, so you yet. can feed the fairies. But you, you feed them, and that's how you level them up. So ah, I'm going to give them these delicious magic, magic beans. Magic beans. <gasps> and they leveled up three yum, levels. Yum, yum. Level uh, nine. New wonderful things to discover. Aww. Uh, and then the, the other, the thing, the, the benefits they bring to you mm -hmm. uh, through raising them are these skills. Nice. And the one that I have right now replenishes your hearts whenever you reach zero life. So basically when you That's get knocked great. out, you get brought back in by the fairy, which is great. That is fantastic. Uh, and as you level up, you'll unlock more abilities. So I'm level nine right now. I'm about to get my level 10 skill, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. But you have a whole list here that I have yet to discover. Of just so many things. Wow! On deck. Look at all the things you can do with fairies once yeah. you get those fairies. That's that's very exciting. All right, I'm gonna turn the fairy music back down a little bit. Yeah. Wearing that pirate slacks right now, Mr. Dreadful. <laughs> Feel that. <laughs> uh, and then Tub Tubo PVC three said, "Who made this game? This is Koi Tecmo Games." Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've got the the professionals on it. They they know what they're doing. They for know sure. what they're doing. Yeah, and this is Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on Nintendo Switch, sponsored by Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Now let's show them some characters. How Say, about that? Oh, uh, let's pick a let's pick a new level. I'm yeah. gonna go. Pick a level you like. Feeling. I was messing around yesterday, and I think I come mm -hmm. into this. Uh, I like Skyloft. Skyloft. Okay. It's, it's based off of uh, one of my, one of my. I didn't really play it all the way through, but mm -hmm. I liked it a lot because of its art style, and I'm trying to remember. Skyward Sword. There we go. Uh, Skyward it looked Sword. like a painting on, on the Wii, which was really impressive, That's but right. they have a couple of levels based off of that. Yeah. So, so as you can see here, many warriors to choose from. Let's go through a few of them just to look through before we select them. Yeah, so we've got Impa, mm -hmm. and uh, we've also got Sheik. Uh, Sheik here, which these are kind of like Ocarina of Time kind of reimaginings, which is really cool. And you've mm -hmm. got original characters like Lana, who is just for, for Hyrule Warriors. Mm -hmm. Zelda, of course. Ganondorf, really into how yeah. he, he looks in this one. And Darunia, one of the best <gasps> characters from Ocarina at a time. Big oh. fan of him. Uh, whenever you win, he does his dance, uh, if anyone remembers that. Oh, my so that's goodness. Cool. Uh, and also uh, Princess Ruto. Mm -hmm. And then you go into Twilight Princess. Mm -hmm. You've got Agatha. You've got Midna. You can actually get Twilight Midna as well. Oh, cool. So that's uh, one that I have yet to unlock over here. I still have... It's a lot still of work a to do. There's a lot of characters. Yeah, uh, still quite a few Zant, to unlock. Uh, Fee, you've got some of these Skyward Sword characters here. Mm -hmm. uh, more original characters. Uh, and then you're going into like the Majora's Mask stuff where you get Young Link Young with Link. his Fierce Deity Mask. Cool. Uh, Tingle, of course. Linkle, who is also an original character. Mm -hmm. uh, Skull Kid. I really like Skull Kid. Still scare me, though. <laughs> still uh, scares me a little bit too. Still scares me a little still bit. Scares me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got some of these these really cool Wind Waker characters. Tetra nice. is fantastic, and also uh, the King, the Boat, the Myth, the Legend. The King. Uh, 
all hanging out, and you can pick whoever you want. But Great. I all think right. Who are you going with? We let's did, see. We did Link last time. Let's mm-hmm. let's go with, with Zelda and her Breath of the Wild outfit this Excellent. time. Excellent. Yeah, good choice. Uh, good choice. We're going to take the, the same fairy with us. Mm-hmm. The one we just dressed uh, up. I'm going to bring Ganondorf because yeah. we were talking about him, and I like him a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Look at that. Zelda and Ganondorf side by side. Together. Uh, together. The way that we all we all meant <laughs> to go, and let's do one of these one of these original characters. All right, uh, Linkle's really cool. Cool. So we're gonna go with with them. All right, let's go with Linkle. Yeah, that looks like a good well rounded team. Yeah, we've got into that. Uh, just brute strength with Ganondorf. We've got speed and agility with Zelda, and we've got some really cool kind of all over the place gun flip flipping combos. <laughs> Linkle's crazy. Yeah. Uh, if I no have one's seen not her get played, played with yet. Linkle yet. She's just fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah. Sweet tunes. So where are we? Uh, so this is Skyward Sword. This is the Skyloft. The Skyloft. There we go. Yeah. It's very cool. All right. Let's go, Zelda. So she's got a, a really quick kind of like nice stabby type of... That's a good combo. Yeah. She's got a, real, a lot of really cool ones, and her, her gimmick kind of thing is that she can uh, power up her sword with mm-hmm. light. So it'll actually change how some of her abilities work. So she'll more aggressively slash than mm-hmm. go into shooting arrows. It's kind of really cool that you can... you got, like, basically two different sets of moves with her. Awesome. Because of it. Ooh, nice flip. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty powerful. She's, she's really, really good. Uh, also one of my, my personal favorites. And nice. I, I'm really into the, the Breath of the Wild outfit as well. I like that outfit. Uh, I also like her original outfit for this too, because she's one of the ones where they kind of like redesigned and did like an original outfit for mm-hmm. her. It's a, uh, it's pretty legit. So to some people that are watching what's happening on screen and they're wondering a little bit, because because we're pretty far into the game, they're mm-hmm. wondering what's going on. Can you kind of talk through, like, what you do in this game from a beginner standpoint? So basically, the way that this game works is you have your army fighting against another army. Mm-hmm. And you've got to kind of fight your way in advance through these stages. So right now, we started in the upper left corner of the map. Mm-hmm. As you're looking at the mini-map in the uh, and we are, top right of the screen. Yeah, we're, we're fighting our way down, taking bases as we go to kind of diminish their, their uh, people that they're bringing in, mm-hmm. make our, our fight a little bit easier. Yeah. Rockman Bionic says, Zelda is one of the best characters to play, in my opinion. I yeah. agree. Wholeheartedly. Agree. Nice. Yeah, she's got. There's, you can do one of these. You can do one of those. Oh my god, that's so these. cool! It's it's crazy over here. Linkle, Linkle's Linkle. also a really good Linkle, character. Linkle, my girl. And then her her right. cool little special character specific thing is here. I'll do it when I get up to the next mm-hmm. next base. I'll leave him. He's so fine. That's pretty satisfying. Those those combos, those moves. Yeah. So she, as she hits people, she builds up this meter that's underneath her special meter. Mm-hmm. It basically lets her kind of funnel dudes into like a, a vortex almost of just arrows. Mission successful. Nice. So if you're wondering, these stages take about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how quickly you go through them. Is that about the amount of time that you yeah. spent on most of these stages? Pretty much. Mm-hmm. It's it's nice to kind of get like a, a quick session, and if you need to, you can just play a lot, play a lot of it through. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can sit there and just play for like six hours at a time, like <laughs> I do. Uh, but it, yeah, about about that long. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting a lot of rupees. So what can you do? What can you buy in this game? We'll we'll show them a little bit later. Yeah. So what have you been spending rupees on? Um, mostly upgrading through the the talent trees for mm-hmm. me. Uh, because I, I want to make sure that whenever I play a new character, I have all of their uh, all of their abilities. I want to be able to do all of their, their combos mm-hmm. and see what all of them are about. Uh, so I usually go that that route. Uh, you can also spend it on like if there's a new character that you want to make sure uh, is leveled up. Mm-hmm. You can pay to level up your character with rupees up to whatever the highest level your highest level character is. So, like with. Uh, Tingle, after mm-hmm. I unlocked him, I, I jumped a little bit of money into him to make sure that he was able to still kind of fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure he's leveled up. Try to fight this Judy78 on Twitch said, What game is this? This looks amazing. This is Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch, and it's out today. 
We're playing on launch day and we're celebrating with launch day live stream, sponsored by Nintendo Switch. And this is Linkle. Linkle this is, is Linkle. kicking butt. Linkle's really good. Woo! But we have a three character team. Oh yeah, that's right. Should we command them to go to other places? Yeah, here, let's uh, where's, where's everyone at right now? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's get Ganondorf down here to help fight uh, yeah. this thing. Help the fight. Real, real dangerous. <laughs> uh, I'm playing a Zelda right now, so I can tell Linkle to move out. Linkle's already here, so we brought her here. Uh, we can have her kind of preemptively move up this way, because I, I think something happens here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll, we'll do that. Sounds like you've played this a couple times. A little bit. <laughs> there we go. Nice. And then we'll see Linkle running past us on the bridge as we, we move over to, to fight this guy. Very cool. Uh oh. A little bit of a, an area effect. The bosses happening. in this are pretty cool. Yeah, I really like the, the fact that they Love managed the to put like, boss fights in. So that's not a thing that really happens too much in, in a Musa game. Yeah. Uh, they also did a really good job of like the mixing of the targeting and blocking and moving around mm -hmm. just feels really good. And it, it makes a weird like, blend of kind of how Zelda plays with mm -hmm. how a Musou game would play. It's It feels really good. Cool. Nice. So we are in the chat, so if you're on Twitch or YouTube, we're looking at your questions. So if you've got questions for Ben, let me know and I'll ask him for you. And we're playing until 1 p.m. Pacific time. And this is Hyrule Wars Definitive Edition. And it's out today on Switch and includes every map every character, every mission from both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions, including all the original DLC. It's all here to play, all looking real fresh, real mm -hmm. good. Yeah, that's right. So and we're playing in TV time. mode, so it's 1080p right now. Yeah, it's it's actually a, a huge noticeable difference. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was kind of like, oh, it'll probably just do whatever, but it's, it looks very nice. Yes, Let's it does. Get these toes. Oh right yeah! Oh my! Oh. You have to take down the toes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not too big into the, into, into doing the toe <laughs> thing, but you know, we've, we've got to do something. Oh. You break out that quote. I'm not too big into doing the toe thing. I'm not too big into doing the toe thing. Here we are. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought we'd finished it. I guess we're. we're okay, you know what? Spring Ganondorf in. Oh boy. Ganondorf! All right. Yeah, let's let's see some Ganondorf action. What's he about? He's, he's about just getting in and messing stuff up. Getting in and messing stuff up. I like that. Exploding Fish said, you guys are awesome. You're Thank awesome. You. Thanks for watching. There we Ooh. go. Got him out of there. Kbron3 said, hey, how's the performance undocked? Good, actually. It, it I still had runs a really well. It's it's a lower resolution, but 720p. It's, it still still runs just about as well as this actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very impressive. Yeah, I have not had any problems so far. Wow, look at him run. He's very serious. He's, he's on a mission. He he's got like a weird like he almost looks look like a Dragon him. Ball character. Yeah. He's just he's angry and he's he's <laughs> strong. He's a good he's a good boy, but he's a bad boy. I don't know. It's Boy. He's he's like he's an A plus boy, but I I think he's still still <laughs> still mean because he wants to like blow up the world or whatever. But <laughs> trust me when I say he's also a good boy. Uh, if he has headphones, what what do you think he's listening to while he runs like this? Uh, every single anime opening <laughs> you've ever heard in the history of time. I was thinking it was a very anime run, and I'm into it. <laughs> It's it's very very good. Yeah. Everyone's got good runs in this game. Everyone's got really good runs, especially Tingle. Especially Tingle. <laughs> Kaito Camp said, "I love his design. Wish they used this in other games." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, give me this Ganondorf, like yeah. everywhere. <laughs> wow. Man, messing things up. This guy. This guy. These poor, poor minions. No, this, this, it's fine. It's, <laughs> everything is fine. This is, this, this is, is okay. This is the way you're supposed to play. <laughs> All right. So now we've got our, our next bases up. I'm gonna tell Zelda, come on over this way because you're already close. Come Work on, on over Zelda. There we go. 
And I'm going to tell Linkle to go over to the Fairy Fountain, yep. and Ganondorf will take this spot we're already at. Excellent. And get real tactical with it. And come around this corner. Nice, nice, nice. And we've got this Keep Saboteur who thinks he can sneak into our base, you but think he is. You can, but you've been wrong. sorely mistaken. Look at that. He's so, he doesn't know what to do. He's so wrong. Dang. Powerful. Defeat all the Keep Saboteurs. <laughs> no problem. What Here Keep Saboteurs go. are already <laughs> gone? We did it. <laughs> Rockman Bionic said, Impa's design in this game I'm very fond of. Oh, Impa's very good as well. A mix of her ocarina and Skyward Sword designs. Yeah. Charles said, combat systems seem good. Yes. yes. It's A+. plus. Feels good. Looks good. Can't say feels good. Looks good. Probably not for the enemies. Doesn't feel good for them. They're getting beat They're up. Right. They're, They're getting right. beat up. So as you see, Ben's targeting the boss. And then sometimes they have weak spots, right? Weak points. So it, they've got kind of like a... Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of Wind Waker's mm -hmm. uh, kind of dodge and parry system. Mm -hmm. So like if, if you dodge out of the way of something, they'll be open after their attack. Yeah. And then you'll see like a thing pop up over their head. And if you diminish that, uh, that meter, mm -hmm. you'll get like a really powerful attack on them. Very so that's, cool. I guess that's the kind of comparison that I, I draw to it. Gotcha. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that I ended up knocking him out before I yeah. was able to do it. But. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's take Linkle in here so she can take over oh this Oh, man. Key. I can't get enough of watching Linkle. Yeah, Linkle is so anime. Real good. <laughs> uh, like, I'm getting anime vibes. I'm getting Bayonetta vibes. I'm just like, it feels good, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And sometimes when you take over keeps, you get cool treasure, which nice. is also a plus. Ooh, what you got? See if we can, can open this up. Some rubies. Nice. Lots of money. All right. Rockman said, also some enemies get vulnerable when certain sub-weapons are used on them. Yeah, so there's uh, elemental uh, effects, and if you bring the, the right weapons in the battle, <laughs> you'll do, you'll do more damage. Wild. <laughs> it's a good time. Oh, shoot. I got, cannot wait to unlock Linkle. <laughs> we've got more more stuff going on here. Uh, let's see. Zelda, go on over this way and, and start protecting this. Do your thing. Uh, fight that Skyloft captain. Let's tell Linkle to go back over here, and we're going to take Ganondorf down to the main base. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's, let's put Linkle over here uh, to defend that. Nice. K. Caleb said, what does is the KO count do slash four? Uh, just kind of keep measuring how much <laughs> how much damage you did. Look doing. how much damage you did. Uh, Look how badly you messed these boys up. It's <laughs> it's one of the more satisfying things in a Muso game mm -hmm. to just watch that count go up uh, and just be like, I legitimately just knocked out like 1,500 people mm -hmm. uh, to try and, and get get through all this, this stuff that I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. BT on YouTube says, does this game have local slash co online co-op? Uh, not online. Local. Local. Yes. You can play uh, two-player co-op sure. mode by sharing a set of Joy-Con controllers on one Switch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, mm. it works pretty well. I, I'm, I kind of want to try more of it. I'll oh, there's a Skulltula. Should we go for it? Uh, I think we should. Yeah, because we missed it the first time around. Let's do it. Mr. Dreadful said, Skull Chill time. You're right. So if, if you let your, your magic run out after you've. Uh, Dang, that was Dragon Ball it. AF. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, there's no there's no owl statues here, so I can't teleport. Can't use the ocarina uh, to get actually, around. Let's, let's keep the Endorf down here. Let's All right. give him an order to stay down here. We'll yeah, take someone else can go take care of the Skull Chilla. Yeah. Uh, support Gerheim. Let's go with. I think Zelda's pretty high up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's take Zelda up to go find that Skulltola. Yeah, let's do it. Adrian said, looks dope. I want to see some bosses. Oh, you will. Because yeah, there, there are bosses in every stage, right? Fought, a, a yeah. fought Goma earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, fought a, we just got done fighting one of those those big... The Toe Monster. Oh, here we go. The Toe Monster. Uh, Where are you at? I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear and it. It's, it's, it's freaking me out. Maybe it's on the other side of here. So we got to use... Boomerang to knock that down. There we go. Oh, there it is. So you poke it, and so you get you an illustration piece. 
So when you take out the gold Skulltula, you get a piece of the puzzle. And you, you get to build up really cool pictures. Okay, and it also cool. makes your potions better. Nice. Charles said, what is the difficulty at, or is there a difficulty setting? There are, uh, at the beginning, three different difficulty levels. Mm -hmm. And they're all pretty, they scale pretty well. Mm -hmm. Once you finish the game, it unlocks uh, Hero Difficulty, which if you're feeling particularly crazy, mm -hmm. you can definitely <laughs> try that one out. I haven't yet, mm -hmm. uh, but it's there for you. So four different difficulties. Yeah. Uh, and there are certain rewards you can only unlock playing on like hard oh. and stuff. So therein lies the challenge. You've got you've got that stuff there if you wanna if you wanna dive into it. Nice. Yes, and if you're just tuning in, we have a three-person team. We're playing in what level is this? Uh, Skyloft. Skyloft. It's based on uh, Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. so we've got Zelda here, Ganondorf, and Linkle. And there are many characters to choose from that you can unlock in this game. We haven't even unlocked all of them yet. There's so many. It's true. Mm -hmm. I've. I've I've dumped a considerable amount of time into the Switch version so far, and mm -hmm. I still have about how many hours do you think? Probably forty or fifty. Wow. Uh, so it's it's really nice too. Uh, once you finish the story, it actually shows you uh, what you have left left to like unlock. So characters mm -hmm. or different weapons, uh, and you find those all in adventure mode, which you could probably check out here yeah. a bit too. So you advance the story to unlock characters, each with their own moves and weapon types, collect rupees and other items to upgrade weapons and craft badges, which bolster your warrior's abilities. Let's, let's bring Ganondorf back down and let's, yes. let's beat this, this, uh, this sword person and take back this base. Take it back. Man. That is satisfying. Yeah. Uh, 64, 64 people with one move. That's <laughs> I, I also appreciate that they, they do like per special. Like how, how well did you do this as a gauge? There Mission we go. successful. And we did. We s we captured Skyloft back. Very nice. In the name of great job team. Ganondorf, <laughs> Zelda, and, and Linkle. Linkle. We've done it. <laughs> the most unlikely of trios. Yeah. Good pose. Those swords, though. Look at that. Yeah. He's he's also got the uh, the trident weapon type, which I haven't found yet. Uh, and. Each, Victory. Each weapon type has its own combo strings mm -hmm. and changes how the characters play. Cool. So it's, it's a good time. Awesome. Yeah, let's show them adventure mode next yeah. and show them a little bit of what's going on there after we watch this. Well, this is the, the post-game celebration. Sam Grove's got to strike a cool pose. He's got to. Yeah. What a boss. You can actually, uh, one of the <laughs> other DLCs they put out, you can actually play as Ganon, mm -hmm. like the giant, like huh. forty foot tall version wow. of Ganon, and it's like go and knock out five thousand people, <laughs> just cause, just for funsies, uh, which is kind of a fun little little thing to kind of do. So you get a bunch of materials after the fact, right? Is this mm -hmm. the puzzle? Yeah. yeah. So this that's the the part that I got. There I can, you go. You're building a nice picture. Link's face. Gandorf looks real real angry in that he one. He does. He does. All right, let's check out Adventure Mode. Yeah, yeah. So Adventure Mode's really cool. They've got uh, just all these maps based on all the different Zelda games. Mm -hmm. And you kind of play through different challenges based on squares. Mm -hmm. So say, for instance, uh, one of them will just be a straightforward battle. Another one will be like, hey, go and fight three bosses. Or mm -hmm. you'll even have ones that'll be like quizzes. Yeah. So there's one of oh, these, I don't remember which square it was, but it's like, here's the Ocarina of Time quiz, and you just fight through rooms where it proposes questions like, oh, nice. who is this, or who whose secret identity is this? And yeah. if you, you know your knowledge for that got game, it. you can kind of flex this is, it out there. This is where you got Tingle, right? Yeah, so I got I got Tingle up up here. There you on, go. on this square. So if you want to unlock Tingle, mm -hmm. that's where you find him on the that's map. That's where Tingle is. And you got a fairy in here too, as yeah, well. Yeah, both the fairies are, are from this area. Mm -hmm. So we've got one here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure which one it was, and I think one up over this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on on this square. Cool. So yeah. Should we show them something in here? Yeah. Uh, All right, let's go for it. It's, uh, we can unlock Impa's other weapon here. Okay. So I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna try to go for that A rank victory here. So we've nice. got to do defeat the commanders of two armies, and we have to play this is cute. as Impa. Yeah. yeah. 
playing as Impa. Got this giant blade. We've already got a pretty good Begoron nice. knife, uh, apparently. Impa looks rad. Yeah, she's really, really cool. What a badass. Um, I'm just going to go with this one because it's got the most stuff on it. We're going to take our, our trusty take fairy. Our, our fairy that we dressed up. Yeah. Yeah. Alondo uh, said, can't wait to get this. Yeah, get it today, dude. Do that thing. Do it. It's on the Switch. Battle information screen. Right, so we've Start got battle. This is an interesting situation. So there's so there's yellow on the map now. So what is got that about? Three armies fighting all at once. Oh man! Uh, and we've got to take out both of them. Wow. So here's. Uh, How does that compare? It, it's a little bit more to manage, but it's not too bad. <laughs> also, Imp is just Whew. a really cool like ninja lady. I love that. Doing all sorts of cool stuff with a really big sword, and you can't go wrong with any of that. Get it, Impa. Yeah, yeah. These poor little dudes don't know what's coming. Yeah, they... Leveling up, leveling they up. They weren't ready. Wow. So that, one, that one's just a really good crowd control. Yeah. Board. She's got another one that's pretty good. Yeah. Most impressive. It's one of those. Mm-hmm. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've, I've leveled up Impa too much. So this this might actually be, like, appropriate challenge level, so I might actually have to like, try it here. So this is proving a challenge for you? Uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm like, man, it's taking a bit to capture this, uh, yeah. this area here. It is. Putting in work. There we go. Getting those rupees. Da -da -da -da. Captured that keep. Good job, Impa. Heck yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> Charles said, how can you go wrong with a really big sword? Indeed. It's true. If I've learned anything from anime yeah. <laughs> and Power Rangers. The bigger the sword <laughs> is, the, the better off you are. <laughs> All right, we're going to go swoop up this way, and we're going to take this keep from the other group. All right. Let's see if we can kind of keep them at a, a nice level area throughout. Woo. Clear out everyone. Nicely done. You got to use that, that big sword. Yeah. Kaito said, usually the weapons are a challenge. Might need to level her up a bit. Yeah. We'll see. We'll do the best we'll, we can. We'll, we'll go for it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it'll it'll work out. But in the meantime, we're getting some, some really cool time in as Impa. Yeah. And I'm, I'm totally okay with that. So you've played the other versions of this. Rick is asking on YouTube, how long do you say it'd take to finish the game? And 100% on everything. 100% on everything? That's a lot. So I, I've, I've never managed to 100% it. And also, this since this is like everything from the 3DS yeah, this mixed with the, the And Wii the Wii U and the DLC. It's yeah. there's, there's a lot going on. So uh, plenty of hours for you to but enjoy this Like game. I said, I've, I've got like 40 or 50 hours in it now, and mm -hmm. I've finished the story, and I've gotten... Uh, some of the characters unlocked. I still have like uh, at least ten mm -hmm. to go, and then I've got all the weapons and all of that. Nice. But there's there's a lot a lot of content here for free. There to is. Kind of there's so much through. to do. Yeah. This makes me just want to play and watch anime <laughs> <laughs> and listen to anime soundtracks. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best things about Musou games, too, is you can yeah. listen to your own music. You get those, Ooh, we got those something. actual anime openings going. What do we got here? I'm going to call it a... Oh! Oh, a box inside a box! Fairy clothing! Yay! Now we get to <laughs> put some, some cool clothes on. I like it. Your fairy's very excited about it, I bet. She's like, ah, oh, perfect. This is just for me. <laughs> oh, we've been, we've been locked inside of here now. We have to fight our way out. I wasn't prepared, awesome. but I was prepared. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, there so if go. you look up at the map, guys, you can see what's going on with the three different armies. So the blue's looking pretty good right now. They're taking over, like, the entire middle. But then we have the, the red team's not doing too much right now, but the yellow team's kind of spread out. They called in a whole bunch of reinforcements to yeah. this place. So thin that out before we move on a bit. There we go. And the north square is about to go away. Oh, jeez. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to... There are no owl statues here. I, I'm picking all the ones that don't have owl statues. Man. So I have to do all the... So you have to run around. Work. You have to 
run all over the place. But yeah, with the owl statues, if you missed this before, uh, there are owl statues in certain stages, and you can use the ocarina to transport yourself between those owl statues. All right, I'm gonna try to take out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bold move right now. Oh boy, a real, a real spicy choice. Right. I'm gonna try to take out the red commander. Wow, you're going for it. I'm just. I appreciate this is that about you. Something's gotta. Something's gotta something's happen. Gotta get. And it's <laughs> it's getting pretty intense. So you targeted him, and now you're trying your best. Yeah. Wow, that looks cool, though. As you see, he's still got about half, a little less than half meter. Okay, you're putting in work. We're, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're doing it. All right, there's not much left. You can do it, you can do it. Yes. There we go. Okay. Excellent. So now we have one other commander to get. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to significantly take down the red presence, which is great. But now I need to get back to my base, mm -hmm. which might actually fall. This might. Uh oh. This might have been <laughs> the wrong decision. Uh oh. Well, we tried. Let me try to get there as fast as I can. We we'll cut through this way. And buh. Oop. Material acquired. So when you're getting all these materials, what are they for? I uh, use them to build up uh, upgrades <laughs> and uh, use them to upgrade your characters. Oh, man. This, cool. There's a lot going on wow. in here. Wow. This is a crowded room. All right. So we're going to use our magic, and yes. we're going to go a little crazy. Get it, Impa. There we go. Oh, yeah. Defeated 1,000 enemies. It's it's going off. Everything's just everything's <laughs> blowing up. We're saving the base. That's great. Woo. Here we go. Really good kind of wow. final clearing attack to, to bring everything back together. Nice. Let's get this guy out of here. Cool. Oh no. Oh. Actually we might not have done it. They might have taken the base. Oh really? No, maybe? <laughs> what happened? Uh, what's 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 here? Oh, some story developments. Okay, okay. Some 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 crazy things are happening. Oh, hey, we got a weapon. We got a weapon. We got a sealed weapon. Can you unseal the weapon? So we won. And Yay! We did it. Whew. Who's better, Impa very, or Midna? I like I like Impa a bit more. Very proud of you. She's got that really big knife, mm -hmm. which is uh, a cool thing. Midna's great too, though. You get both versions of Midna. She kicked that sword. And then she's going to put it right inside of its, uh, its sheath, <laughs> just like that. Doesn't even have to touch it. <laughs> oh, it was great. Good job. You Thank did you. that. I was, I was real worried there for a second. Yeah, I'm like, a I little cleared this worried, out. but you did it. Did it we all, get the A rank, though? It all worked out. Yeah, we got the A rank. It all worked out. Yes, A and rank. And we got, we got the weapon that we were uh, setting out to get. Ooh, Naginata. So now Impa has her, her secondary weapon type unlocked. Sweet. Kokiri band. Oh, nice. Cool. We got a new headband for Sweet. our... Sweet. Uh, Let's our do some amiibo band. stuff. You want to? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was, was going to say, we've got all these really cool amiibo yeah. here hanging out. So, all of the Breath of the Wild amiibo are compatible with this game, so we're going to show you some of those. And then, yeah, you can use up to five amiibo per day. Got this really cool boy, yeah. mm -hmm. really really cool, uh, big dude. We're gonna mm -hmm. see what we get from him. Yeah. See what happens. Get a cool unlock sound. We got one rupee. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks for l almost nothing. <laughs> uh, and uh, from from my understanding, mm -hmm. the uh, the rewards are based off of what amiibo you use, but you can use anything. Mm, gotcha. So we've also got uh, let's use the uh, Zelda from mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. It should get us something from from Breath oh, of the I Wild. Oh, I have to press the not that button, the other button. Yeah. Uh, it should get us something for Zelda, I believe. Oh, great. So it'll be kind of good. Let's find out. So there you go. Okay. She's yell. And we got uh, a, new, a new sword. Awesome. Uh, then we've also got uh, Breath of the Wild Link with his bow. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use that one. 
See what we get. Fire rod. Uh, Sweet. A new fire rod. Cool. Uh, and then the last, uh, <laughs> the last Zelda one we're going to use just to kind of see mm -hmm. what happens with uh, Ocarina Time Link. Mm -hmm. See if we still get some Link centered oh. loot. Oh. Oh. So you, so you, you can't can only, double link. You can't double link. Okay. That's, you're getting too greedy at that point. Got it. All right. But that's okay because we brought. <laughs> we brought the boy. We brought. We brought the, the real fiery, spicy boy, Charizard, <laughs> and we're going to see what he gets us. What we get? And we Ooh, got lizard scales. Oh, lizard scales. So I don't know if that's... Wow, that's so on brand. I don't know if that's Charizard tied into that, Charizard gave but us lizard scales? That's cool. There we are. All right. Yeah, so you can use up to five amiibo per day to get random weapons and rupees, and the Breath of the Wild amiibo will work, but you can't use two different versions of Link, as we just learned. So there you go. That's what you do with Amiibo. Um, all right, so we have we're about we have thirty minutes left. So do you yeah. want to do another stage? You do another one. Uh, yeah. I see someone asking uh, in the chat. Uh, does it have a story? Is it just clearing maps and leveling up? Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you want to do the story mode, you're looking for Legend, and basically this is the main progression uh, mm -hmm. that'll take you through all of these levels. And there's there's story cutscenes. The basically the plot involves just the different timelines for Zelda crossing into each other. Mm -hmm. A lot of crossover stuff. So that's stuff. why you get characters from... Uh, so you've got the, the Ocarina of Time timeline up here where it branches off. Mm -hmm. Then you've got uh, the uh, Twilight stuff. And then you've also got uh, Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. And you get characters from them showing up. They all kind of come together. And then you all you all come together as a group and you, you yeah. go and fight Ganon because that's what you do. All right. So which, which uh, level are we trying out? We could do another level in... Or we could do more adventure stuff. Sure. So that, that it gets kind of kind of crazy in here. So we could just just kind of mess around here. Yeah. Yeah. That that was. We weren't sure what was going to go down yeah, the last was, time we played. So it was a fun is, time. This is pretty exciting. Uh, we've got a weapon for for Zelda. If we go over that way. Mm -hmm. So say. Oh, so this is the other thing. So when you're you're here on this map, you'll see that up for the A rank victory, it says that you, it requires a search to find this thing that's for Tingle. Oh. So what you got to do is you actually go into this slot on the map. And you can use one of the items that you get for clearing the maps to kind of do stuff. So if you're mm -hmm. like, oh, well, what do I have to look at? You use the compass. Yeah. And you discover that there's something going on up there where it's sparkling. And oh, interesting. Like, oh, I'm going to use this item up here to blow open a hole in this wall. And from there, you get access to Ooh. the special reward. So now we know if we get the A-Rank victory, we'll get a whole heart container for nice. for our good, good balloon boy. <laughs> our very good balloon boy. Defeat the warriors of oh, time. So you get to fight all of the uh, the main uh -oh. uh, dudes from Ocarina of Time, I guess. But Sounds who like am I gonna do time. this? As? Yeah. All right. Mm. Who shall we choose? You know what? We we've had too many good people here. Let's let's do <laughs> let's do Volga. He's a real real dangerous kind of dragon dragon guy. I think he's look at that. I think he's based Helmet. on another character, but he's he's also kind of original for this though. Like all this right. version of him. Cool. We'll, uh, we'll run around as him. Sounds good. Some Volga action. Extra effective item attacks. Some enemies leave an opening before performing certain attacks. Cool. You get those sweet tips. All right. So, yeah, wow, this uh, this map is very circular. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of paths that go towards the middle. And, yeah, the enemies are are taking over most of it right now. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna take all we'll that back. We'll make quick work of that. Uh, so the really cool thing about Volga is he's basically uh, a transforming dragon. Mm -hmm. So he he has moves that literally just he'll either pull out like his uh -huh. wings, or he'll pull out like a, a dragon arm to hit people with, or he'll breathe fire, nice. or there's one where he actually just straight up turns into a dragon. I believe. That's cool. We'll, we'll we'll get to that in a bit. Wow, he's just spinning that thing. Yeah, he's he's real good. I like that. Morgan Linky said, "Cool, it has a lot of different things. Really thinking of getting it, dude. Jump in. If if it's you fun. love Muso or Zelda, mm -hmm. you you owe it to yourself to pick it up, like, yeah. without a doubt. It's there's so much stuff to do in it, and it's it's one of my favorite kind of games. So I'm, I'm down with it. But mm -hmm. It looks good to you. Jump on in. I bet <laughs> you'll have a good time with it. Yep. And if you're just tuning in, we're playing Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch." Brought to you by Nintendo Switch. And my name's Chassie, and this is Ben, and he's playing 
And we're having a good old time. Heck yeah. With Volga. <laughs> what you got? The other really cool thing that I like to like do is seeing all the different animations for opening up the uh, the boxes because each character has their own kind of personality. And they all do it different ways. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, ah. I've done it. I've gotten the f the fairy oh. clothes. I'm very excited about this. More clothes for my fairy friend. All right, I'm gonna swoop on over this way. Mm -hmm. I think, and then we'll, we'll come on back. I'm going to go through the updates that are exclusive to the Switch version again because yeah. I read that at the beginning of the stream. So we have the newly added Breath of the Wild outfits for Link and Zelda. All the Breath of the Wild amiibo are compatible with the game. My Fairy Mode from the 3DS version now has 3D rendered graphics. Two Wind Waker stages are available, which we played earlier. If you missed that, just check out the replay. And those have HD graphics for the first time. And you can play two-player co-op mode by sharing a set of Joy-Con controllers. So that's what you have to look forward to in this Switch version. Boom. Boom. There it is. Mm-hmm. Let's clear out this base. Clearing it out. Whoop. Enemy troops withdrew. Show them what's what. So I've, I've already beaten one of the, Fire. the heroes, which is great. Nice. We're just we're kind of kind of cruising around here. All right, I'm gonna s go down this way, and then we'll we'll work our way up around. Mm -hmm. I kind of I, I like that you can you can do like the the stuff to kind of tactically tell your, your teammates where to go. But I, my favorite thing is still going with just one character and like doing yeah. all the work because that I feel like that's the, the the fantasy that these games do really well is like you're you're a one person army and you're here to just do everything. That's right, uh, and it works out really well. Then we got another chest. Nice. Gimme. Did it. Ooh. It's just money that time, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. Money's money's a good thing. Keep Lana safe. Oh, someone's coming out of the base. Here you go, head him off. Outpost captain. So when you take out those outpost captains, then your team takes over that outpost. Mm -hmm. And they'll have to come back over to take it out mm -hmm. uh, if, they, if they want to take it back. Uh, and occasionally you'll have, like, certain bases will put out certain enemies and you have to take those bases back if you don't want to have mm -hmm. to deal with other things. So there's there's a bit of kind of strategy with that. Nice. Which one's your magic meter for the fairy? Is it the green? It's the green one. Nice. So I can do a, a fairy attack right now or I can, I can call out magic. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also got two uh, special moves, which is pretty good. Nice. She's those jams. Those jams, jams are, are 200%. Brockman said, can you bring more than one character into the adventure mode maps, or is that addition only for the story mode? Uh, so It depends on the adventure. Level, it depends right? on the adventure. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to work out for me at all. Oh, no. I was wondering who, who was going to be the, the yellow <laughs> faction, and now we figured it out. <laughs> Chickens. Should have just kept them the here. Boss is just a chicken. Woof. <laughs> so this is a, a good, good little surprise. Wow. Uh, should probably take out the golden yeah, one. Yeah, take out that golden chicken. That golden chicken's cool though. Yeah, right. Extra crispy. Perfect. All right. Uh, back to the question: Can you bring more than one character into adventure mode maps? Depends so on the level. It, it, it depends on the adventure mode mm -hmm. uh, level that you're doing. Uh, some of them will restrict your character only using one. Some of them will let you pick up to like three. <laughs> uh, so there, there are tons there. There's a joke in the chat. Rockman said you defeated the hen honcho. <laughs> a plus. Ship it. We've reached peak pun, and Ooh. I don't know if we can ever top that. Hen honcho. <laughs> Keep the puns coming. Please, yes. Please. Uh, We're live, big fans. I live for puns. <laughs> puns are the best kind of jokes. We're big fans. Oh, man. Wow. He's, he's very <laughs> angry. Uh, he's got a lot of rage. God. He's, I didn't really play as him much uh, 
In previous Initially, versions. yeah. Uh, and then I, I, I gave him a go for, for this, and I'm like, oh yeah, Volga's, Volga's real good time. Wow. You're like a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> He's also really, really good at juggling, which is uh, nice. Hard. Let's take this this base. All right. Yeah, the map's looking pretty blue, so we're doing a great job here. Fairy time. So this is actually a, an important yeah. uh, place to fill out or to take because they have a, a fairy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta take down that fairy then. That fairy, uh, you actually take it and you use it. Because in the, the middle zone here, it's got the fire on it, mm -hmm. so it's it's basically enchanted, and I'll take damage if I'm if I'm inside of it. But I can dispel that using the fairy from this base. Mm -hmm. So if I go over here and I equip it, I can bring it in here, and we can bring the fight to Darunia. Take this, Darunia. Boom. And now we're good to go. Excellent. Ooh, that looked painful. Yeah. But it wasn't quite enough for Darunia. Darunia is extra he's, strong. He's a real strong guy. Extra strong. I'm kind of upset that because I'm fighting him, I won't get to see him do his, his dance. Aww, that's the dance true. is like his best thing, without a doubt. Oh God, rocks! <laughs> Ooh. He's got a whole bunch of pals in here. He's got a lot of pals. Probably like, clear them out. Yes. I need to clear out this room. There you go. I can't get over that room with the chickens. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, a real good surprise. Oh. There we go. Mission successful. We did it. Yay! Perfect timing, too. We have about 20 minutes left in the stream, so we could do one more. I like it. One last one. Uh, chat, who would you like to see? What characters would you like to see? Yeah, if, if you saw anyone on the, the character select screen, yeah. I'll, I'll do my best to play them for you. Yeah, We can form a team and we can use one from Ben's choice and one from the chat's choice. Yeah. All right. I'm Let playing on the easiest go. mode ever. So I'm not playing on the easiest mode. I'm playing <laughs> on, I think this is, I think this map might be easy, but also my Volga's pretty beefy. He's a level <laughs> 27 uh, and he's got a, very strong weapon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's also just a very, very strong character. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Skull Kid. Skull Kid would be a good time. All right. Two votes for Skull Kid. Oh, we got earrings. Some more earrings. Cute. All right. Let's let's go back into a different mode then. All right. Cool. Yes. We'll go into mode to, of your choice. We'll just hit up free mode. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> Just do the water, the water level, the water oh temple. Boy. Go there. Well, you you have eighteen minutes. <laughs> um, let's see, good sky loft. Let's try. Hit up the the Gurdu Desert. Okay. It's always a good time. Or we could go to. I feel like we've got to go to Hyrule Field. Bring actually. it on home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how many how many people can I bring into this one? Three. Three. Perfect. All right. So we had two votes for Skull Kid in the chat. If the chat has any other votes, let us know who you'd like us to include on our team. So I'm going to check and see what I've got for a Skull Kid level up wise. Sure. Yeah, so, uh, let's check out this. Talk through what you're doing. So uh, you've got three different areas you can level up your, your character in, which is attack, defense, and assist. Mm -hmm. uh, attack is basically your main line is for getting all of your, your combos unlocked. And then you, you build out into the bottom area, which is for your special attacks. And the top area, which is stuff like uh, doing damage to people while they're blocking. Cool. So you just power yourself up through it, which is uh, a real good time. Nice. So I'm just gonna, just gonna give Skull Kid a little bit of, a little bit of <laughs> help here, just to make sure that they're all right. Elric voted for Linkle. All right, we'll get bring, Link bring Linkle back, back in the team, in. and then pick one new character besides that of your choice, Ben. All right, I'm in. Cool. Yeah. So we got Skull Kid. We're gonna bring in Linkle, and Ben's gonna choose another character as well. Drew Pew Pew said, is this one player? This is, what you're watching is one player mode, but there's also two players, yeah, and you can, you can play co local co-op. Yeah. And each of you can have a Joy-Con, and you can play together split screen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to leave that where that Seth is. Seth said good. Tetra, so do you want to swap, swap you know out Linkle with Tetra? Uh, we could do Linkle and Tetra, actually, because right. uh, yeah, let's just do that whole section. Sure. That's a, a real good section of characters. Let's do it. Linkle... 
We got Linkle, who is amazing, and then getting and it Tetra. also works out really well too because I, I have Tetra, Tetra! Up already too. Gosh, she's she's fantastic. What a cutie! Um, let's this will uh, be a good team. Yeah. And this Let's will be this the last stage that we play in our stream, but we've been having a lot of fun playing Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch, sponsored by Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, can you play this online? I don't believe so. I don't think so. But you can play it in bed, and that's what that's matters to me. pretty good. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we are. So I think this is when you, you revisit... Uh, the, Hyrule Field. The Hyrule Field stage, which is right outside of Hyrule Castle. All right, so let's let's take a look at what we got yeah. here because there's Check a lot of red map. here. Uh, there's a whole lot of red, the, which is the enemy team. Let's get Linkle down here uh, to the South Field Keep. We'll swing off over this way. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Ooh. So Skull Kid does does what Skull Kid does and uh -huh. just laughs and dances all the time, which is 100% on brand. <laughs> oh, Ganondorf is here too. Nice. This is this is a good old time. Nice. Eye beams. It's all here. It is all here. Here okay, we got that keep. It's uh. Oh, Linkle's already here. Perfect. I mean, start awesome. taking this keep right away. Yes, Linkle. There we go. Some cool kicks. Some cool reloads. Head back in here. Nice. Linkle's so awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope we see more Linkle in, in other places. Ah! It's Link. He's here. Hey, Link. How's it going? Uh, I actually just realized. I think this is the stage where you play as the uh, the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to we have to fight Link. Uh oh, really? Uh, so that's gonna be a fun time. Uh, buckle up for that one. All right. Uh, who is here right next? Oh, it's Link. Hello. Oh. It's good to see you. Uh, there was a question in the chat about the characters in this game uh, besides what we saw. So I'm just going to go through the full list. So we have Link, Princess Zelda, Impa, Lana, Sheik, Darunia, Princess Rudo, Midna, Agatha, Fee, Ganondorf, Zant, Yerahim, Sia, Volga, Wizro, Twilly Midna, Young Link, Tingle, Tetra, King Daphnis, Skull Kid, Linkle, Medley, Mer Marin? Um, Marin. Marin? Yeah, yeah. Toon Zelda, Ravio, and Yuga is what I'm seeing. I think there might be one more, but it's not on the list I have. Does this game have any new Breath of the Wild additions? Question on Twitch. Yes, it has outfits from Breath of the Wild and amiibo capability. So you have the newly added Breath of the Wild outfits for Link and Zelda, and you all have all the Breath of the Wild amiibo compatible with the game. Oh, there we go. That that eye beam is very good. Yeah, that's good stuff. Dun, 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 dun. About twelve minutes left. Or we're going to play through this entire mission. We can do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it. This yes. is, is going to be good. You got this. Go. All right. And let's... Here we go, Linkle. Oh, she can still just stay here, I guess. This is fine. Uh, we can't... We can't play as Tetra yet. She's still locked up because we are we got a progress to a thing. But... I'm going to help her out here because she seems to be in the middle of a, an intense fight. Oh yeah, it was, it's a real, real mess over here. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna take this place up here too, Do so it. we stop getting reinforcements coming in and messing with everything. 
What's up, everyone? My name's Skull Kid. I'm Skull here to Kid. dance on you. Good dance. Nice. Limo. This is a pretty good team. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. Got a good team going. We haven't even got a chance to do much with, yeah. uh, with Petra yet, but mm -hmm. I know she's good, so. Yes. There we go. Took that keep. Ganondorf, a little late to the party, but that's okay. Glad you could make it. <laughs> Tetra, what are you? It's a party over here. Wow, Tetra, what is happening? Yo, just clear, Tetra clear all that some out. Help. I guess so. <laughs> it's okay. Skull Kid's here. He's gonna. He's just gonna. I just love how he dances all the yes. time. It's so good. Styling on him. All right, let's get this outpost captain. Get rid of this outpost captain. Take over that outpost. There we go. Excellent job. Yeah, we're clearing up this map. Yeah, it's, it's coming together. Yeah. Yes. Skull Kid. Blow up this rock, see what's there. Nothing. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> well, at, least, at least we're playing as... Uh, Skull Kid, so there's, yeah. it's, a, it's a bit it, of a cannon fight. Yeah, so. it, it works. He would do this. Alright. Uh, I'm going to keep Linkle down there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell Skull Kid to move up over this way so we can take that in a bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to switch back to Linkle and we're going to fight these things at the doorway. Nice. Stop Impa's plan. So we got some, some people trying to Trying to sneak in. How's it going, Impa? Impa! Good to see you. Sorry. Sorry for this. Ooh. Checkpoint. Whoop. So stylish. It's the only only way to do it when you're Lankle. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's really answers. Have fun, everyone. Hey, man, anytime. Yep, yep. Happy to, to help you out whenever whenever we can. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching our stream and hanging out with us today. We're going to be here for another eight minutes or so while we finish this stage. We've been having a good time, though. Oh, okay. I can be Tetra, Tetra now. time. We did it. Yay. Tetra time. GamerGod292. What console is this on? This is Nintendo Switch. It's launch day for Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Switch. That sweet, sweet Zelda Musou crossover mm -hmm. uh, is finally on the Switch. Yeah. I'm very, very excited. Lord Halogen said, is this couch co-op? Yes, it is. It's split screen. If you play in TV mode, you can split screen it. You can split screen it uh, out of TV mode as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just take one Joy-Con each. All right. Try to head these guys off at the pass. Trying to move in. Tetra, Tetra isn't having fast. any of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now the main keep is open, too. Ooh. And Zelda's Zelda, here. Zelda, what's up? Just gonna have to fight Zelda, probably. Uh oh. But yeah, look at look. look she was playing with her Breath of the Wild outfit decked before. out, yeah. Her her design in this game is really good. Yeah. Uh, very into it. Very stylish. Watch out for Zelda. There we go. One dude down. Another dude down. Nice. Oh, we've got Link trying to move in on the base. Oh. oh, everything's happening all at once. Everything is happening. All right, so I'm going to try to catch him, too. Clear this out. Yes. There we go. Get it, Tetra. <laughs> 
Luke Carr said, turn this from mildly curious to must buy. Cheers, guys. You're welcome. Heck yeah, anytime, dude. Happy to recommend the game. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for you to, to jump in. Yeah. There we go. Woo. Excellent. What Sorry, Link. Get out of here, my dude. Today's not your day. There we go. Woo. Link down. Drew uh, Pew Pew said, yeah, I'm getting it because of the stream, too. Yay! <laughs> so I, I feel Link is the enemy? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, right things now, get wild Link in the, the timeline. You Isn't that crazy? <laughs> can't, can't even <laughs> believe the things you'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, happy happy whenever we can, we can help people find out more about a game you might be interested yeah. in. Yeah. It's always a, a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Linkle, who are you going to fight now? Zelda? Zelda. I'm sorry, Zelda. I didn't so mean it. Sorry, princess. I got to <laughs> I got to do something though. <laughs> We're doing great though. Look how much blue is on this map. It's a lot of blue. Oh, I, I know exactly what story mission this is now, too. I know where we are. I know what's happening. Do 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 do. There we go. Watch out, Zelda. Oh, 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 Get her up in the air, do, do a thing, do juggle. another thing, bring it down. Keep her, keep her floating. There nice we go. juggle. And then the objective pops up, defeat Link and Zelda <laughs> immediately, and we just did it. <laughs> we did it. Way ahead of you, game. Perfect. There you go. Call out the fairy again. Fairy time. Flamo. Good stuff. All right. Does that keep us taking? Let's take this one over here while we're at it. So Lord Halligan said, what's the main premise to control the majority of the map before time runs out? So it's, it's kind of a delicate balance of stopping their reinforcements by controlling their areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got to kind of like run around and keep track of stuff. Then there will be uh, important people that pop up on the map. Like right now, Link is actually making his way towards our base. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to go and I'm going to tell Skull Kid to kind of intercept him. So that when I'm done with this base uh, as Tetra, I can just switch to Skull Kid and fight Link. Uh, so you got to kind of keep an eye on like commanders and uh, special units as they're going to and from places. Mm -hmm. Uh, to stop them from taking over your territory. And basically, the ultimate goal is to stop them from taking over your base and take over their base. Yep. Oh, and Zelda's on the move again. Hey, Link, how's it hey going? Link. <laughs> Good <laughs> to see you again. To you. Just use uh, an entire super just on him. <laughs> well, he is Link. It's true. It's only the hero of time. <laughs> I mean... Oh, hi, Ganondorf. You're a little late to the party again, but I'm <laughs> glad you showed up. But thank you, Super Mario. Appreciate it. And D-Link. D-Link. You guys are, are, are too nice to me. Happy birthday. Appreciate it. Oh. Wow. Uh, he's doing a special move there. Uh, it's real dangerous. <laughs> I was doing another one. Wow. Oh. So yeah, if you tuned in late, if you're wondering, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition includes every map character and mission from both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions, including all the original DLC. So that's what you get with this version. Quite a bit. And yeah, there's a bunch of exclusives to Nintendo Switch version, including the Breath of the Wild outfits, Breath of the Wild Amiibo compatibility, My Fairy Mode is now in 3D rendered graphics, which was from the 3DS version, two Wind Waker stages, and two-player co-op mode by sharing a set of Joy-Con controllers. Uh, as you're watching it here in TV mode, the game is in 1080p, one docked, and handheld is 720p. And it's out today. Today is launch day. That's why we're playing it. And you can get that for $59.99 on your Nintendo Switch. And it was developed by Koi Tecmo Games. Okay. So everything's kind of like 
Because I think Link and Zelda come back like three times during this, so I have to like. Man. It gets it gets real intense. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that's good, I think. Yeah, I think we did it. Yeah. Did we you? Did the thing. Yep. Yes! Right on time, too. We, it's 12.59. Look at that. We did it. Impeccable everyone. timing. We beat Link and Zelda. We sure did. The heroes of the, that we're usually used to were our enemies this time around. Let's get a little bit of a cutscene. Mm -hmm. Ganondorf's real stoked about uh, finding the other pieces of the Triforce and bringing them together. Nice. Luke Carr said, easy to pick up and get into. My seven-year-old is loving the look of this. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, and there are dif different uh, difficulties, and you can play on the easiest difficulty and have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Uh, admittedly, that is how I'm playing, so I can breeze through this, but it's super fun and easy to get into. Yeah. Yeah. And... The combat's not too complicated, too. It's like two buttons. It's it's two buttons, and depending on which way you press them, they're good. It's mm -hmm. it's a good time. Yeah. All right, we're going to wrap this thing up. Yeah, nice yeah. job today. You did it, dude. Happy birthday. Thank you again. Yeah, yeah. All right, and thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thanks to Nintendo Switch for sponsoring this stream. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Miss, miss you. <laughs> Have a good weekend. See, see you later. <laughs> Hitting out here.